Sawasumiki, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Sabrina and I'm a first year classicist at the University of Oxford. If you're a classics nerd like me, or maybe you just want an insight into what Oxford life looks like, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and join me on my university journey. Although, quick disclaimer, I'm currently in lockdown at home for this term, so I won't be necessarily filming as much like Oxford life um, because I can't. I'm basically stuck in my tiny bedroom, studying here, sleeping here, mostly socialising here because I can't really see too many people outside. Maybe leaving the house once or twice a day to go on a dog walk. That's about it. And I don't think that's particularly riveting stuff, so please bear with me if you're waiting for, you know, actual insight into day-to-day -day normal quote unquote normal Oxford life. You might have to wait a bit longer until Trinity term when hopefully things will be going slightly back to normal with Boris's new roadmap out of Covid. Fingers crossed. Also the fact that it's been so long since I last uploaded a video means that loads of new people have found my channel and subscribed so hello, welcome. Um, thank you for subscribing. I guess this means that you know a small number of people have actually got interest in what I have to say which is kind of a nice feeling. I'll be trying to make some more Oxford themed content particularly for prospective students coming up in the next few weeks and also just generally classics access videos like how to get into the classics, what kind of books you can read, for just generally for everyone so stay tuned for those. With that out of the way let's get on to this week's video which is admittedly very low effort for me but you know what? You know what? It's sixth week. I've made it through six weeks of Oxford University online so I I think I deserve to be cut some slack. This week I'll be ranking some of Oxford's most famous and infamous colleges according to my own personal incredibly uninformed opinion which I've based completely on the people that I've met from these colleges last term, also the general rumours and reputations that I heard about when I was in Oxford and my own personal taste. For example, I personally prefer older Hogwartsy buildings, so that might affect my ranking. But this is my channel, this is my video, so we're playing it by my rules, I'm sorry. Therefore, and this is a disclaimer right now, this video is made for entertainment purposes, it's not entirely supposed to be some sort of accurate rundown of every single college and I may get things wrong so please bear that in mind. Not every college will be exactly what I say it will be. Always do your research, visit all the college sites, for example, this is particularly for prospective students, visit all the college sites, use the alternative prospectus and you'll get more of an idea of the different vibes of colleges. Also student room page which kind of like a burn book I guess of each of the Oxford colleges but that will also give you an idea of the different vibes of colleges. Although like I might touch on some sort of more I guess serious accusations like for example scandals of certain colleges, this video right here is just my personal opinion. Everyone's experience of colleges is different and your experience of your own college might not be affected by any of the stereotypes that these colleges are given by like the general wider Oxford community so please bear that in mind. I also think it's a good idea to make this video now because I'm currently in my second term of first year and if I revisit this idea in a few years time I can see how my opinions have changed as I gain with more experience of different colleges and Covid has finally subdued enough for me to go and visit different colleges to see what they're actually like <laughs> so I might do another one of these in the future when I'm a bit older and a bit wiser. So without further ado, let's get into spilling some tea about all these colleges. Right, just to introduce you to my ranking system, um, of course it had to be classics themed because, come on, this is a classic channel. <laughs> it would be blasphemy if I didn't do it, but I decided to do it on based of classical adaptations. At the top, of course is Percy Jackson, that's not even an argument. Then following that we have the Disney's Hercules tier. That's a staple, that's a staple of everyone's childhood and it's just a good film despite mythological inaccuracies, it's a good film. After that we have The Song of Achilles, again very good but not quite as iconic as the Disney's Hercules film but Song of Achilles it's doing its own rounds you know it is bringing more people into the classics world Madeline Miller is doing that work and you have to you have to applaud her for that then underneath that um it's not a film but the iconic Olympia perfume advert by is it Paco Rabanne I remember watching that and just thinking god damn it's this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen <laughs> so you know if there's any um people in charge of media advertising watching this you know 
come on give me some more give me some more mythological referencing adverts i i need it i need it in my life because the, the paco rabanne one was chef's kiss then beneath that <laughs> beneath the perfume advert we have the percy jackson films which you know they are they are adequate they are not the best but they are adequate and then beneath that we have the troy 2004 film which honestly is a bit of a train wreck train wreck what did i say train wreck i it's enjoyable but also painful for a classicist to watch this film the first half is good the second half is just torture <laughs> so moving swiftly on we have the one tier that you know surpasses the requirement for it needing to be involved with the classic. I will not say the word because it is a disgraceful word to say but let me just you know put it out there that this is the worst tier and if you don't you don't want to fall in this tier so if, if a college falls in this tier you know you know it's in my bad books. Right starting out I'm not gonna go too spicy yet I think I'm gonna leave Christchurch for a bit later on. <laughs> um let's talk about Hartford let's talk about Hartford okay so Hartford College it is very nice college and I can say this because my old sister used to go to Hartford and it is a very very friendly college that's what my impression is as well even now um she said that back when she went it was like that it is still like that they own the infamous bridge of size which you always see in like pictures of Oxford that's belongs to them so you can walk if you're part of Hartford you can walk through that bridge of size which is pretty cool. I think the atmosphere is generally known to be pretty friendly, pretty supportive, um, not really, I'm trying to think, I don't think they've really had any scandals, I think they're pretty unproblematic and also are very good at promoting state schools in their college as well which is nice. <laughs> it's always a bonus when colleges like to focus on access so I, I like Hartford but Mm. Does it go in the Percy Jackson tier though? That's my question. It is pretty but it's also quite small. I think I'm gonna put it in the Song of Achilles tier. If I'm- yeah. I think- I think that's fair. It's- it's nice but it's not one of my favourites I would say. Okay, where to next? Hmm. Okay, let's talk about New College. Let's talk about New College because it's a- it's a bit of a sticky uh, one for me. Mainly because I- I really like the college. I, for me personally, I think it's the most beautiful college in Oxford. It is stunning. I think it deserves more credit for that than Christchurch, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it's really big. It's where the uh, Dr infamous Draco Malfoy jumps out of a tree scene was filmed in its courtyard. I've been around there once and it was just... All the people that I've met from New College have been lovely as well. So that that's the pros for it. However, I didn't realise exactly like how elitist like the attitude actually is in new college and this is particularly for classics so allegedly allegedly the tutors at new college really don't like people who have only done one language or none of the languages for classics so they will mostly only take people who have done both languages for classics greek and latin but those people are the only people like the only people who can do that obviously are the people who go to public school public private schools because those are the only places that offer both languages so automatically that attitude is very elitist because you're immediately just saying like no we prefer private school people to state school just because they've had an opportunity to study something that a state school student hasn't but you know that's a, that's a different issue um and so yeah, they'll rarely take uh, people who've only done one language or like, there'll definitely be less people who've only taken one language and then they will like once in a blue moon maybe take one person who's done none of the languages before. That's incredibly rare for New College. I think Viola Helen was one of those people, the YouTuber. So she was like one of the rare people that actually got picked by New College to be a course two person there. But in general, they tend to be quite elitist when it comes to the classics, which I'm not entirely... A great fan of to be honest i don't really like their attitude about that and in general the college itself is like known to be very private schooly which i again i didn't really know about until i actually came to oxford which is interesting so hmm, hmm i don't want to put it to for this reason it's, it's it's sticky do i put i can't put it above disney's hercules no is it at the same level of Hartford for me? Maybe. I think so for me, just because I love the building so much and it is 
probably my favorite like outward appearance of a college it, it, it has to be new college so we're gonna put it in so the song of achilles tear and then let's see we have um <laughs> oriel That's just going in the Cambridge tier for reasons that I don't really feel like I need to explain. Well, all I just say is um, Rhodes and Tory elitism. <laughs> that's 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 all you need to know about Oriel. There we go. What about St John's? Okay, right. St John's is the super rich college at Oxford, so I think it's richer. It's the richest one. They've had some scandals about the sort of stuff they've been investing in over the past year or so people have been like protesting for them to like invest in greener sustainable things and they just what they ended up doing was like cutting people's electricity off and stuff which st john's what are you doing mate but yeah that <clears throat> st john's very i think it's pretty academic as a college new college as well I've got to say it's very academic like it's very good at academia in the norrington table which is the table of like ranking how good each college is in comparison to each other. New college is always near the top because they're just so like academically vigorous. St John's I think is a similar way. I don't know, St John's just doesn't seem that friendly to me. Even though I have met lovely people for instance from St John's, the actual general vibe of the, the, the college is just a bit icky for me. So I think I'm going to put it in the Percy Jackson films. I think that's fair. Oh, what am I doing? No. It's all glitching out. It's all glitching out. Okay. There we go. Okay. That, yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah. Wadham. <laughs> if it, if Wadham was a person, it would be a activist. They are very very active in like everything. They are always like the campaigners. The they are behind a lot of um the sort of the pushes for greener sustainability. Uh change like they are they are very gay <laughs> that's another thing they are like known as the gay college and they're very progressive i guess they're known for being very progressive but also like a little bit like oh, crazy i really like the people at wadham for the ones that i've met they have they're very funny they're very energetic they're very progressive and forward thinking that's the main thing about wadham it's like known as the left-wing college if there was one else like that's the it's it's very very left-wing and very very progressive and liberal and at times communist <laughs> that's what it's like known as and generally like less problematic than other colleges although i have the way that they've treated some people recently some of my friends who have stayed over this time in oxford i'm not a fan of that behavior so for that reason hmm I think it's going an Olympia perfume advert. Ah! My god, what's going on with this? It's so annoying. Come on. Yeah, I think Olympia perfume advert, it's... it's I think the people of Woodham actually bump it up a lot, but the actual building itself, like, it's nice, but it is just a carbon co copy of University College, so it's just just needs to get its own originality you know so it's it's above st john's but um below hartford and new college right um christchurch <laughs> christchurch what can i say about christchurch christchurch is pretentious um rich now nah, it's okay it does live up if, if any of the colleges lived up to the reputation that like oxford is elitist whatever Christchurch is the one that Christchurch, Oriole and Magdalen are the ones that have that reputation and for a relatively good reason they're always involved in some sort of scandal over the last term Christchurch has had like multiple scandals already there have been quite big parties there despite all the code regulations there's like the whole issue of the dean of Christchurch not stepping down when they were like being pressured to step down and like them hiring some questionable uh, like exposed to be questionable theology uh professors and also like a racism scandal in the last term which is just classic christchurch isn't it lovely it, it wouldn't be christchurch if it wasn't living up to its bullingdon club uh legacy if you guys haven't heard about that you know you should go and watch the riot club the film which is kind of based off 
off that uh, secret society, you know, secret elitist society. There's still a few societies like that around our Oxford that you hear about. So, and a lot of them, a lot of the members apparently come from Christchurch, which, you know, it's putting it down in my book. It's also known as like one of the main private school-ish colleges. It's very big, it's very pretentious. The dining hall is, I think, where they filmed the Harry Potter films. So it's like a huge tourist attraction. Do you know what I've heard from about Christchurch is that in general, most people are very happy at their own colleges. They're very loyal to their colleges, but Christchurch is one of those places where a lot of people who go to Christchurch don't actually like being at Christchurch that much, which is interesting. So that should be taken into account. It is beautiful, it's true, but in my opinion, New College is better. It's just a bit too, it's a bit too pretentious, a bit too elitist for me in general. I think they just, I just don't think they have been making enough effort to do access work and really try and break down their, their like elitist reputation. And there are lovely people that do go to Christchurch that I have met. So they do bump it up slightly from the Cambridge tier, but I think, I think it's going in Troy. I think, I'm sorry Christchurch, I think it's going in Troy. You're too problematic. <laughs> You're too, you've got too much going on. I can't handle it. Okay, which college is this? Okay, Maudlin. Right, Maudlin has had its own scandals in the last uh, six weeks of term. Its president was, while claiming to support the LGBTQ students at the college, they were going to defend um, this country in a trial which was about making homosexuality illegal and punishable, I think. So they've, that's their most recent scandal. And, but in general, they're like, they always have some sort of scandal going on, to be honest. They are more, well, if Christchurch is the artsy um, city rich kid, Maudlin is the landed aristocracy rich kid. That if, if, if that was it as a person, it has its own deer park, of course, it's huge and it's very, very private schooly. Although I have met, again, I have met lovely people from Christchurch, but they also have said that like, it is sometimes the atmosphere is a bit, in my opinion, it's slightly less problematic than Christchurch, which in itself is a controversial opinion. So I think I'm going to, hmm, hmm. But, but I don't think I can put it in the St. John's tier. That's the thing. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put it in Troy, 2004. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Where is this? Somerville. Right, Somerville. I like Somerville, actually. I interviewed there as one of my colleges last year and it is like red brick, pretty. Not as old as the other colleges, but it is generally known to be very progressive because of the fact that it was the first women's college. So they have that kind of legacy behind them, which is good because <laughs> it means that they are less likely to fall into the same traps of older colleges. You have this sort of darker past that they're trying to escape from. However, the actual like the way the staff and stuff seem to treat people. I don't know. I've heard questionable things about the actual like teaching and people and running of Somerville, but the actual people that go to Somerville are fantastic. They're brilliant. So I think I'm going to put it up into the Olympia perfume advert here. Yes, I think so. I think so. That's, that's I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Merton. Ugh, Merton. <laughs> Oh god. Merton, where fun goes to die is what it's generally known as. Nah. There's... That's like an over-exaggeration. Generally, Merton is the college that is probably known to be the nerdiest. Like, the the big brain boxes go to go to Merton. They, they do be very, very, very clever. And for that reason, they're not necessarily known as, like, particularly social as a college. However, the people that I... I have met, like sociable people from Merton but it does seem to have like a bit of a weird competitive atmosphere which some colleges don't have necessarily so I'm I don't know where would I put it I think I'm going to put it in the Olympia perfume advert here um because it, it's it's all right no no, I take that back. It's Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson films. I take that back. And reflecting on it now, and I'm thinking about it. 
I'm thinking about it, I'm reflecting on it, and I think, hmm, I think I've got to, I think I've got to move New College up just because I do just think it is a beautiful, I think it's, it's going into Disney's Hercules, I'm sorry, and then with that I think, um, I think Wadham's going to move up to Song of Achilles, I think, yeah, that, that makes more sense to me. Um, Somerville is okay, but it's, like, I like it, but I also just think that it's not as, um, pretty as the other colleges, maybe. Well, okay, no, that's a lie. That it is pretty in its own way, because it's, like, a different type of building and stuff, but because... Wadham is like a bit older like in the way it's built and stuff. I like I prefer that style more So this is my personal taste. It doesn't make any sense when I'm putting it up there Okay, so and then we have Balliol. One of my friends goes to Balliol So it's automatically got to be a bit high, you know because of bias. It seems like a good place The funny thing about Balliol is is that it's known to be like the super right-wing college because of Boris Johnson went there, but actually, in reality, there's a lot of communists <laughs> that go to Balliol, and it's pretty left-wing. I also played on a hockey team for, like, one session with people from Balliol in a joint college team, so it's, it's gonna rank highly. I think, I think it's gonna go into Disney Turkeys. I think it is. I think it is. Um, they also seem to just, like, there's a lot of fun people at Balliol, it seems, so I'm just, yeah. I'm putting it up high there. Which college is this? This is Bray... No, this is Mansfield. Okay, Mansfield. So Mansfield is known as the... It's like 90% state school college. So it is probably the most down-to-earth college you can get. With still like a little bit of oldness mixed in. It is lovely. Like the people there are lovely. But it's incredibly poor so like they don't necessarily have enough money to support all the students and stuff well in comparison to richer like, more pretentious colleges but it is generally pretty progressive and relatively unproblematic although at the moment they seem to be having a feud about keeping meat day mon like meat free mondays which i'm just a bit like why are people arguing about this it's not that deep is it like surely you can go one day without eating meat my god but that's a different story. So I think it's going in Olympia perfume advert. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm happy with that assessment. Okay, it's interesting. So far, Percy Jackson books, none, none have got to that level. None have reached that level. Okay, let's do Bray's Nose. Okay, interesting thing about Bray's. <laughs> what I've heard about Bray's Nose, they tend to be, well, from what I've heard, pretty cliquey mostly just stay within their college but i don't know if that's true because obviously i've only been here for like one term i haven't really met any of the classicists from brazenose so in that term in that regards i guess it's kind of true not in person i haven't met them in person anyway they are next to the rad cam they have that pretty view they have the brass knocker that inspired c.s lewis i think so that's pretty cool i don't know i don't really have strong feelings about brazenose at this stage so I think I'm, I think it's going to go into Percy Jackson films, I think. And then, finally, last but very much not least, we have University College. And finally, we have someone or something to fit into the Percy Jackson tier. Because while other people might claim that University College is the Hufflepuff of the colleges at Oxford, I would just say that that's what makes it the best, you see, because of the fact that it's known to be generally pretty down to earth in terms of the fact that it is, although it does have a still a relatively high percentage of private school kids, so I think it's the percentage now split between the state school and private school is 60 to 40%, 60% state school, 40% private school. It is quite progressive in that sense. It's very much about encouraging access, they have a big classics year and will take in people who have only done one language or have done neither of the languages. The tutors there are good. I I think it just deserves, it just deserves the best tier because 
it's known as the friendly approachable down-to-earth college not too academic so the pressure isn't so on you as if it would be like maybe a new college but also it's pretty social it's known for generally like they're good all-rounders people go to uni good all-rounders so this is my um concluding thoughts on some of the colleges this is by no means all of the colleges of oxford by the way like pff, there are 30 30 or something plus colleges so maybe if this video does well if people seem to enjoy this video i might do another one of these and address some of the less well-known colleges that might help boost their profiles a bit who knows so if you want to see me do re like reacting to some of the other colleges tell me in the comments down below and i i will very much consider it because <laughs> to be fair this is this is quite fun remember again disclaimer this is just my opinion and my opinion is not necessarily the correct opinion it's just based off loads of different random factors including my own personal taste so please bear that in mind when you think about these colleges always do your own research always go on the college websites and actually look into the alternative prospectus for oxford where it gives you like a college picker um this is particularly for prospective students just if you're looking at what college you want to apply to that's like a good idea for finding out what different colleges vibes are like etc but yeah so to conclude university college is the best college worst college is oriel <laughs> and good in between is are somerville and mansfield they just need to get some more money that that's that's their main downfall <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video i am sorry it's been so long since i last uploaded something and hopefully i will be able to upload this by saturday if things go to plan with my workload i don't have to write an essay this week i only have to do a presentation but then again i also have classes pretty much every day and the workload is it's heavy you know and i also need to pick my modules for second year for class six which is exciting but also scary because we have to pick philosophy modules and we have to pick one special subject um and i'm thinking i think and i'm this isn't finalized but i think i'm leaning towards doing some form of ancient philosophy and also doing a paper on greek sculpture or something to do with classical art because i find like that material culture so interesting so that's what my plans for this week are <laughs> hopefully this will get up but yeah hope you all have a lovely rest of the week i have you hope you all have a lovely productive rest of the week the boris's news yesterday has given us all like a fresh boost of optimism and hopefully things will go to get as planned and hopefully i'll be in i'll be in oxford next term fingers crossed but yeah thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you next video bye